Kong Classic gets underway this morning, swimming from Shelley Beach to Manly. And I'm going to chat with someone who's doing it this time around on New Year's Eve two years ago. Uh, Stephen McDonald was in the UK. He was violently attacked on his way home. It was uh, what we now regard as a, a coward punch. Admitted to hospital with significant brain injuries, placed in an induced coma for 18 days. It's all too familiar for us, given the stories of Thomas Kelly, of Daniel Christie. At one point, his lungs collapsed. Hospital staff were able to bring him back to life. And during his recovery, uh, was told he wouldn't be able to take part in physical sports or activities. Uh, he'd always enjoyed swimming, uh, particularly at the time the London Olympics was on TV. And it was watching on from that. He was inspired to get into the pool and build up his fitness. Arrived here in Sydney in November of 2012 and being surrounded by uh, the lovely environs of Manly and able to continue his swimming. And today he signed on to the Cole Classic where he hopes to raise money for the Salford Royal Hospital in the UK. I'm pleased to say Stephen McDonald A is with us and B is on the line. Stephen, good morning. Good morning, Stuart. Sure. How are you? Terrific. It's nice to be able to chat with you. It's some comeback you've been through over the past two years. Yeah, it's been a bit of a battle, I'll be honest with you. Um, I mean, coming back from, from what happened, uh, I mean, for me, I had, it sounds like a stupid thing to say, but I had, I had the easy seat. I mean, I was, I was completely out of it in hospital. You didn't have a clue what was going on? No, like you say, no. So, you know, people ask me the question, you know, what was it like? Yeah. You know, well, honestly, I don't, I don't have any memory of it. Um, uh, effectively, uh, for you, it could have been an hour after, like, you'd gone to sleep, effectively. Exactly, yeah. I, I had no recognition of, of what had happened. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, it was, it was just like, you say, waking up the next day. And, uh, and to be honest with you, the whole experience in hospital was completely painless as well. So... I had the easy seat, but my family and all my friends around me who had to sit there and, and watch me suffer for this, this amount of time, that they were definitely in the, in the worst position out of me. And have they found the offenders? Were they ever brought to justice? Well, yeah, they, 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 caught, they caught one, one man and he, uh, he went to prison. Uh, but there was, new, there was numerous guys that, that assaulted me yeah. on, the, on the video camera, on the CCTV footage. Um, it was blurred by a street lamp, so they could have identified one of them. Right. And he, he was he was the guy who was um, he, he was actually a, a kickboxer, an amateur kickboxer. Yeah. And he, he, he took my legs from behind me, and my head hit the floor while I had been on, on the road, and, and that was enough to just wipe me out completely. Goodness me. I mean, it's incredible to hear you be able to talk and uh, speak as lucidly as you're able to now. And so today, obviously, we fast forward, preparing for the Cold Classic. You're doing the 2K Ocean Swim. Uh, now, given your lungs collapsed while you're in hospital, you're told, look, as far as physical sports activities go, they're out. You're defying doctor's orders here, Stephen. Well, well yeah. Naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> I, think, I think it'll be all right, to be honest with you. Um, Swimming is one of those sports where obviously you get in the water. There's no, I mean, yes, your, your body's in the water and it's physical exercise, but you, there's no contact in swimming. You know, yes. You're completely weightless in the water, and it's just one of those things. Like my my lungs now, no problem with them at all. Um, I mean, I've had a bit <laughs> since this year. I've had a bit of a problem this week. I've been bogged down with the flu. Oh right. This is Australia Day, so I've done the third day. Which I to get back into it. So I've only managed one training session this week, and mm. I can imagine it being a bit, bit of a battle today. But I'll definitely do it. You, you know the problem, I'd imagine. It's the good weather. You're just not used to it, mate. <laughs> Suddenly you've caught the flu in the good weather. That's what's happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. is, is it possible to catch flu? I think it is. No, there's such a thing as a summer flu. That's for sure. Well, hopefully you can shake the flu off. And importantly, when you do the 2K swim this morning, uh, you're wanting to raise money for the hospital back in the UK that looked after you so well. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, so I've, I've been raising... I started the fundraising in, I think it was about November last year, uh, and I've done really well. I'm really impressed with what's happened because I managed to get it to $1,300 now. I know it sounds like uh, a bit of an insignificant amount for a hospital when you think of medical fees and, and cost for medicine and everything, but my aim with this was to create money for, um, actually create money for the um, ICU department, so the intensive care unit, uh, just because I wanted to, when I was in there, they had a limited number of televisions in there. It sounds like a stupid thing that you might need in an intensive care unit, but, you know, all these families that, that sit there around, yeah. around their uh, loved ones that are struggling, you know, they're, 
they're there all the time, um, so they need some sort of, not just entertainment, but... Distraction, people, yeah. Yeah, distraction, and when I was coming round as well, so I, I was brought out of a coma and I could, I could see things, and some of my memories are just when my family were watching a TV in, in the ward, you know, and, and you can also track what time of day it is as well. Sure. You can look at the screen, yeah. morning news is on, and you're like, and it gives you an idea of what you are, and like the recognition of the things that you used to remember. The only problem would be, imagine you suddenly wake up out of the coma and they're on TV's Big Brother. You'd be pushing the button for the nurse. Can you put me back in the coma, please, at least until 7.30? <laughs> oh, uh, well, Big Brother was on. I think I'd just sort of roll up. <laughs> Pretend I'm very, I'm very drowsy, guys. I'll need an hour here. Look, it's a credit to you. You, you sound terrific. You're in great spirit. You'll shake off the flu, and uh, I'm glad you've made Sydney your home. And mate, we wish you well with the fundraising, and importantly, with the 2K swim this morning at the Cole Classic. Sure, I appreciate it very much, mate. Terrific, Stephen. Stephen McDonald is his name. And if we want to follow you, well, what's the best way? Have you got a site or something involved with the Cole Classic? Uh, if you, I have a Just Giving page, um, which is obviously my charity page, so you stop there to just, give, just Giving, and then it's forward slash my, my name, so Stephen hyphen then McDonald. Okay, so we're Giving and Stephen hyphen McDonald, and you'll find the details there. And then there's the number one after it. It's a bit of a difficult one. Someone, there's obviously been a Stephen McDonald raising money. Uh, okay, fair enough. So it's Stephen hyphen McDonald one, and that's our man in the cold classic. Good luck to you this morning, mate. Yes, Stuart.